I'm Tony Hedemil, your neighborhood news reporter here on the south side. Uncertainty surrounds the Oso Bay Wetlands Preserve Learning Center as the extended funding deadline nears. I spoke to some parents, a former manager, and the city for an update. Having a place that is available for uh, the schools and the children and the homeschool kids to access and be able to see the animals and go on the tours. You do get that more uh, personal touch with it and it's more hands-on too. The little activities that they have are pretty fun as well for the kids. As we reported in August, the city was looking to reduce programming at the Learning Center while working on next year's budget. The city had always talked about keeping a few maintenance staff on. There were a couple of different budget proposals. So at one point it was as many as six staff could be cut. It got down to three could be cut. The location currently has six full time and two part time workers. Their future isn't clear because the city council voted to extend the Learning Center's funding only until December 31st. But also the staff who works here would like some certainty, right? We all want to go into the holiday season joyful. And I just think having some symbol of an answer, is there a backup plan if the contract isn't done? The Parks and Recreation Department sent me this statement. The city of Corpus Christi is in the process of exploring partnership options to ensure uninterrupted operations at the Oso Bay Wetland Preserve and Learning Center with the deadline of December 31st, 2024 at the forefront of considerations. If you go look at the budget notes from the final budget votes, it just said full funding continued through December 31st. Great. And then I think my question and a lot of the people's question is, and then what? The city says they'll notify the public as soon as details are finalized. With the December 31st deadline approaching, we'll be sure to keep you updated. On the south side, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Tony Hadamil, Chris 6 News.